Hello everyone, my name is Sheree Adizong Lavori and I'm representing the Filipino community of Melbourne, Australia. I am 19 years old as well and I'm one of the Miss Philippines Earth 2023 candidates. Sheree, I'm so curious, I've been meaning to ask, what is your uh, background like? Your name is very unique. Um, do you have, are you part Italian or something? Actually, my name doesn't relate to my ethnicity at all, which is the funny thing. My name is actually Egyptian, but I am ethnically Filipino, Italian, and Maltese. Wow. This is the first time that we encountered uh, someone with a um, Maltese mix as well. That's very unique, no? In Melbourne, what do you do? Are you studying? Are you studying or...? In Melbourne, yes, I do study. I study at the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology, RMIT for short. And I study a degree of professional writing and editing and leading into public relations. And what do you plan to do with that course eventually, like as a profession? I, as I said before, I aim to move into public relations, which is more of working on a brand's image. So, which means that you will eventually be doing work behind the cameras instead of what you are doing now for Miss Philippines or that you're in front of the cameras. Now, I'm, I'm curious. In Australia, how would you uh, assess the environmental practices of uh, of people there? Like, how does it compare? Like, I feel that the difference in Australia as opposed to many other countries is maybe that we are more educated. It's taught quite a lot in our educational systems. However, the thing is here is that although it is taught, a lot of the times it's taken for granted that we are taught these things. So I feel that a lot of the time that we have a beautiful fauna here and flora in Australia, but because of a lot of other natural disasters, especially like the bushfire that happened, which was catastrophic, it destroyed quite a lot of our natural environment here. I feel that, yeah, the mindset of the people here is very taken for granted. It's not happening to me. I won't put it into practice. Okay. Do you have any specific advocacy that you'd like to voice out during the competition for Miss Philippines Earth? Yes, I actually do, and that is waste management, and specifically targeting the youth. Because I feel that, as youth myself, it's a lot easier to advocate for something that's closer to my heart. And really, my advocacy is specifically targeting how we can incorporate more sustainable lifestyles within this generation and that really starts from you know your, your parents influencing the children and then that fosters into the educational systems from there. Okay, let's go to more of uh, you as a 90, are you 19? Yes. More of a 19 year old. What things do you enjoy doing as a 19 year old charade? I'm actually very nerdy. I love to play video games. I've been doing that for a very long time. My dad is also a gamer as well, so I guess that's where I get that trait of mine from. I also love to sing. I've been doing that for a while as well, and I've also been doing that for my mom, so... Yeah, it's... I'm really just, you know, your typical youth, just that gamer girl, nerdy, and just a musician at heart. Your, your Maltese background is very unique. I think you, you take it from one of your grand grandmother maybe or or like uh, they, they must have they must be the ones that gave you that uh, uh, the background uh, in Malta. Are you particularly uh, close to your uh, Lolos and Lolas? Do you know Lolos and Lolas? close to my Nana and Nanu and my Nana is actually the Maltese one while my Nanu is the Italian one. However, they both speak Maltese and that's where I got my part Maltese background from my dad because he's half Italian and half Maltese so 
I've got all of the mixes. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I'm interested to know. Your Maltese background. I know that the Maltese and the Italians are almost similar. Yeah, but uh, is there anything unique about uh, the Maltese background that you think people will see in you or that's part of your character? Uh, yeah, like you said, they are very similar and I feel that the Maltese person and the Italian person hold similar characteristics. But I definitely feel that because they're such a small island, I feel that their voices are, have to be a lot more amplified. So a lot of the people from there are very strong in personality. I can say that through my nana and my nanu, they are very talkative and very honest. Have you been to Malta, not yet? No, but I'm planning on going next year in God's will. You should. I think it's a very good uh, um, visit, if ever. Malta is a small place, but it's very unique. How about in Italy? You haven't been? No, I haven't gone there either. I want to go. You should because that is what makes you unique as a person, your background, your multicultural background. All right. So final question, uh, Sheree. How do you want people to see you in Miss Philippines Earth as a candidate? What do you want people to... Uh, what kind of impression do you want to live in the minds of people in the competition? First of all, what I really hope to leave as an impact when I go in the competition is rather that they get the impact through the way I advocate. Because in the end, the reason why I join the platform, it's not simply just, you know, get my name out there, etc. But it's more of that I am a youth and now, it's now or never, right? And I have the energy to advocate for my cause, especially for the world, rather. Because if no one else will do it, then I don't want to be put at the, the stop. I really want to continue having a, a rampage of activism. All right. Finally, Sheree. Would you like to leave a message to my readers at normanorman.com so that you can gather their support for you in the competition? Yes, of course. Hi, everybody. Who's supporting Vito Norman. Once again, thank you for looking at all of his words, his blogs, because I can imagine he's an amazing writer and interviewer. And yeah, just once again, thank you for watching this. And 